I remember nothing, but I feel my past buried within my core. Project Berserker locked inside me only burns when I'm distracted from my function. I have no name. I am Warcry. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Internet Personality Evangelist here with a review of Fans Project's Causality War Cry. Causality is a new offshoot of the Crossfire lineup, and War Cry is the first guy in it. He is a recolored munitioner with a new head sculpt and a couple of other new pieces added in. The color scheme is based on a micromaster called Growl, who I still don't really know much about. But I kind of dig it because it's not a bright red, it's a sort of muted brownie orange. And it fuses nicely with all the darkness beneath on the robot mode. His head is very similar to Munitioner's, right down to being block-shaped. And it even comes with a badass visor. Uh, but I do like that there's still a very grim-faced, tiny little mouth sculpted on. Being basically Munitioner's body, he's got the same posability, and it's still pretty good. Uh, all the joints are pretty smooth and tight. There's a really good sense of body line and weight to uh, any pose you put him in where he's standing still. He's got those lovely ankle tilts. Uh, the only downside is that also, like Munitioner, he's got this humongous backpack that is a little bit longer than I would have liked, although there is a pretty interesting thing here on the combiner port. Uh, I think it's sealing away the power of the Berserker project or something like that. It's a cool way to make him feel a little bit more different, but uh, especially with his head being such a similar shape to Munitioner, it's understandable if some folks find him looking a little bit too identical. Though I will say that I really like how the use of white on his torso differentiates his look. Primarily the spots on his chest, on his shoulders, his wrists and gloves, and his belt. I also find that the metal grill-like details beneath his black chest bits help him look like his own unique kind of guy. The majority of Warcry's new parts count comes from these weapons. A mysterious pair of canisters and a gun turret for the top of his vehicle mode. It's kind of interesting how this thing transforms into a gun for his robot mode. Uh, you pull apart a few pieces here, but then uh, this tiny little cannon actually kind of gets upgraded by one of these canisters and uh, turns into a fairly intimidatingly sized uh, piece of kaboomery. And uh, what I really enjoyed here was this little extra detail of flipping out... Uh, I think it's kind of like a little laser sight targeting system. Um, it's tricky to get out, but I, I like the way that that pops up. The weapons peg into the fist holes, though the cannon somewhat surprisingly also uses one of the small notches from the side of the forearm plate to lock in place. The extra canister stores underneath either forearm, and the remaining piece of the turret turns into a kind of punch shield thing. It's a very cool series of armaments with only one little problem. That being that, uh, this cannon, it's, it's tight. Like, this piece here is tightly locked in, in part because... Uh, if you, as you can see here, it's using one of those tabs to stay in place. Problem is that the actual cannon has a little bit of looseness to it and doesn't lock in anywhere. It's relying entirely on the friction of this piece. So I kind of wish that this thing clipped onto his forearm somewhere rather than the handle clipping on, but um, I can dig it. I mean, it's not all that bad, and uh, this part is super solid. Uh, as for over here, uh, these pieces are pretty tightly... Uh, pegged and clipped in, although the canister is kind of easy to knock off if you're not paying attention because it only tabs in via one of these tabs into a uh, little slot there. So it's a pretty neat uh, setup and it looks very strange in photographs, especially this stuff. Uh, once you have them in hand, I think it makes a little bit more sense. It's kind of like these canisters uh, are not just barrel extensions, but it's like they're also some form of ammunition. So he has a spare in case this one runs out so you can swap them. Also, I think it would hella hurt to get punched in the face with that, but uh, that's just me. It's with his accessories in place that Warcry feels a lot less like a head-swapped repaint than I thought he'd feel like. Granted, that's what he is. But given that these causality guys are supposed to be like standalone releases, I feel that the total package of his robot mode makes Warcry feel a lot more individual than he might have turned out otherwise. To be honest, I actually like him a little bit more than Munitioner. I think that ditching any kind of swindling nature has made him fully embrace the Crossfire aesthetic and take ownership of it and make it feel like it's his own look rather than one that's trying to fit itself around an existing concept. Also, I think I just like huge pulsing cannons. Don't judge me. But it's not fair to continue comparing these guys unless we look at their vehicle modes, and that does mean... transforming. No one gets away 
Pursuing target! Transform! You can't run! There is no escape! Warcry's vehicle mode is very much Munitioners in a different color. There are no different paint app schemes here that I can spot. It seems to follow the same patterns, and unfortunately that does make this feel a lot more retreaded than his robot mode was. Though I will say the addition of the bright white canisters and turret on top helped to give it its own identity despite its somewhat repetitious nature. If you liked Munitioner's vehicle mode, you'll probably like this one. And did you know that it can also roll? If we put it next to Munitioner, then we'll only be highlighting how much these two look almost entirely identical because, well, they are. The different roof embellishments give them each their own identity, I believe, but if you don't really feel that's effective, they don't do much else to differentiate. Though again, perhaps because I just happen to like the color orange, and maybe because he's new, I don't know, I feel a little bit more inclined towards Warcry, color-wise at least. I think that his gun emplacement thing is cool, but not quite as elegant as Munitioner's. And because the questions come up many times, uh, number one, yes, this uh, seal can be removed from his combiner port, and yes, the other podiatric stabilizer can be affixed to Warcry so that you can have him uh, akimbo to Munitioner as a pair of legs. Uh, for what? I'm not sure. And before you think I bought a pair of Crossfire Zero Two, that is the other one. The tank's typically in there. So you don't have to double buy this guy in order to do this. Also, a couple little things I didn't mention in the Munitioner video from way back. When you're pulling this guy out of here, it's good to grip it by the front, uh, because you see how these parts can extend out. Um, that can be a little bit hazardous, so I'd recommend gripping it by the front and applying just gentle, wiggling pressure to get it free. Uh, that way you're not stressing those little joints. Also, when transforming this guy into vehicle mode, I highly recommend you do each leg uh, separately uh, when you fold them in. It's very tempting to, to connect them together and then try to fold them in, but that's going to be troublesome. This way, if you do them separately, you can get them to uh, hook over these little tabs much easier individually. Uh, so you just slide them into place like this. It's very cramped and a little bit tricky to do, but then everything just kind of clips together happily. And it's a lot easier than uniting the two uh, shins and, uh, and trying to put it all together simultaneously. Clocking in at 10 bucks less than his Colossus counterpart, Warcry's standalone nature seems to have caused his price tag to leave many on the fence over whether or not to pick him up. Given that he doesn't have the draw of resembling a popular classic character, it's definitely a case that he doesn't have that immediate appeal. But as a solo figure, I think he's got a solid identity and look. His engineering is very clean, and he's by no means a poor purchase. If his vehicle mode had some more elaborate paint apps, I'd recommend him heavily, but as he is, I feel he's the lesser of the two initial causality releases. If you think Munitioner's awesome on his own, then I'd definitely say this guy is worth consideration, though. And if you just want a characterful scout-sized robot on your shelf, Warcry will fit that bill quite nicely. And to be honest, I think I'm going to get a little bit more desk time out of this guy than Munitioner. But that's just me. This has been Internet Personality Evangelist, for now. Uh, Causality did have two figures to herald its debut. So tell me, ladies and gentlemen, do you like space shuttles?